What's happening, guys? We're in a 2015 Sonic, putting a boost gauge in and a coolant temperature gauge in with a ZZP dual gauge pillar pod. I'll show you all how to do it, some problems I run into. So, there it is finished. The pillar pod, um, the tabs were wrong. So, on the OEM one here, there's a push tab that goes in the top that pops in, and then this wasn't really hooked onto anything. On the ZZP one, these are backwards. So, they won't fasten to the door, or won't fasten to the pillar, I mean. So, what I ended up having to do was you have to cut some things off to make it fit up in there. You'll know. you got to push it up on here, and it'll hit. So cut those off and I used this, a little plastic push pin. And on the ZZP one, this fitting here is actually up here. So you can cut these to where they're flat on each side to make it fit in this groove and just push it in there. And when you get it mounted up there, you'll have to push on it. You can see up in there. Well, you can't, but that's where it is. That's where that push pin is. It's right behind this airbag. So you get that push pin in there and it'll pop in there. Now, as far as the gauges, I'll show you how I had to hook those up. I didn't tell you to pop off the factory uh, pillar here. You just pull on it here and it'll, it'll pop off. And then this part, you'll kind of pull it towards you and it'll unhook itself. This panel here, you can go ahead and take it off. I'll usually take this rubber off. It'll give you some more room to work with. All right, and then we'll take this panel here off. They all just pop off. Okay, there's where I ran my wires. You'll want to follow, this is a glow shift, you'll want to follow your instructions here. But for these gauges, I have to have a constant hot, a switched 12 volt, and then a light source. So, right here on the bottom here, there's a constant hot, constant hot, and a constant hot tab. I just put a like a female spade terminal on there, hooked it up. So that's my constant hot. Put a fuse on it. And then if you're switched, what I did was I ran the wire through the dash across there. Down behind this panel and down. And you can get to your cigarette lighter. And you can go off your hot side of your cigarette lighter wire and splice it in there. Now to pull that out, all I did was just, you can put a screwdriver under there or something and just pull up on it. It'll pull up. You can pull that right out, get to it. To run that wire back here, it might make it easier for you if you were to take this panel here off around the shifter. And that's real easy to do too. Just work it up. It'll pop off here. Just pull up, pull back. There you go. You can get right up in there, help you kind of pull it. I routed the wire. There's a foam insulator here. Probably keeps this moving stuff from hitting wires. I just put it in behind here. Come through, pulled it through the hole, spliced it, put it all back together. So you got your constant hot there. You got your switched 12 volt spliced into this and then you have to have a ground I grounded it right there it works fine and then you'll have to have a, a light switched so this pops out just push the back of it there you go and then try to get it where you can see it it's one of these yellow wires so you see which one that I did there. It's 
kind of hard to explain so I looked up the wiring schematics and everything this that I spliced it to the yellow wire is the wire that goes to the dash lights so whenever you turn it on it'll supply power and then as you dim it it'll dim the voltage now the glow shift ones are not dimmable they only go off 12 volt so if you were to turn down your dash lights those are going to start the lights will flicker but that's the only 12 volt light source that i found to hook it to i'm sure there's something else you could do with the headlights or something like that but it's right here as long as you have the dimmer turned up all the way those will work just fine and they won't flash or anything get close again to it so you can see which one that i did it's the yellow one towards the round part of the headlight switch now you know where to get the 12 volt constant voltage the switched voltage and the light voltage and the ground now for this setup it's the boost gauge and the coolant gauge so i'll show you where i hooked those up at the coolant sensor I had to do this. I cut the top radiator hose here and I found this on Amazon. It's a show you. you can kind of see it. 32 millimeter adapter for a quarter inch NPT sensor. Um, 32 millimeters is the radiator size here. So I clamped that in there, hooked this up. Their directions show that the green wire off the coolant sensor has to go to the white wire of this. The black one's supposed to go to a ground. I'll show you where I routed everything through the firewall here. It's behind the battery. You follow it back in here. And... There you go. So there's a rubber boot up in there. You can see where the where the wires and I ran the boost hose out. You can push on that boot, it'll pop in and you can go up over it. Now, the boost line, I've had some trouble with. When the car came to me, it was hooked up here. This is not a boost line. This is before the turbo going to the air filter there's no boost here so it wasn't working and then I found that there was a long black and green hose on down here Let's see if I can get it to show up There's a long black and green hose. You can see the green there. The long black and green hose will not work. You will not get boost pressure, only vacuum. Now there's a short one right here on the corner on the bottom of the, uh, the intake. That's what you're seeing. That's the one that you have to splice into to read boost. The long one will not do it. It's the small one. It's right under the intake right here you can put your hand underneath this hose and you'll be able to fill that hose if you go on down there's a long one that's the one I tried at first you can see it down in this hole yeah I spliced into that that did not work so I ended up capping off that T down there it's not focusing great but you get the picture there we go it's not the long one down there you'll fill it right here that's where you can get your boost from there you go. I, I didn't find a, uh, a good video showing you how to do this, so figured I'd make it maybe help somebody out.